Team Ruthless Baby back in the house. Business only vice. T Linux and his boy Eclipse. I always forget to introduce myself. Today's topic. Ain't nobody on this Oh, my heart. Don't think about it too much. Yo, all right. Today's topic, or should I say tonight's topic, best video game moments to us. My favorite game moments, okay. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure everybody had them. It includes anything from like a cut scene, action scenes, or gameplay moments, whatever. My so. cut scene has to be uh, Dead Space when you had to, you had to poke in the eye. Yeah, yo, yo, yo that shit is not. Nice. Yeah. I got the shells. I just kept Dude, looking at it too. Like, I was I looking away from the screen, so I was like, if I get too close, I'm gonna. <laughs> I seen you doing it. I came over. Oh, yeah, and right. You were doing it, and That's I was like, bad. bro. And then you messed up, yo, bro. It's brutal. I like, I looked away. I didn't watch the scene, bro. It was terrible. Dude, yeah, that, I was like itching. I was like, yo, bro, that part was Gosh, crazy. My I heart need was to pounding. Finish that. In serious. I need to play through three. It was three good. was dope, bro. Three is not as good as one and two. Oh, but it's it's cool. It's a cool run through, especially if you do a co-op. Trust me when I tell you, bro. So man, ready? Yo, let me. Yo, speaking <laughs> of that, yo, one of my favorite moments. Dead Space 3. And it's... I don't, I don't even know if I want to say it, though. Especially if you're going to play it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say right, it. Okay. Okay. Y'all, people who play three, Dead Space 3 with a partner, I don't know if y'all had the same experience, but me and Ark had this crazy experience. It was freaking sick. So, let me start. My, one of my favorite gaming moments... Shit. Metal Gear Solid 4 towards the end. Mm-hmm. When you're freaking crawling through, the, through the vents, yo, yeah. through the vents with in the, the radio, yeah, yeah, the yeah. radiation thing was messed up. Oh, he oh, wasn't he, crawling at first. He was walking, then it was like so bad. He started crawling, and his his gear was like melting off of him and stuff. And then, yo, and then the fight scene between him and uh, it was Liquid, yeah, Liquid Ocelot, Liquid Ocelot, yeah. The fight scene, the fight, not the scene, but the, the actual fight, the game, yo. That part was crazy. Yep. Straight hand to hand ish, bro. That that, that game shit was amazing. Shit, man. And he gets like all his strength back and junk. He get the moves back. You get the one two kick, bro. <laughs> that part was. Crazy. But I think the fight between him and the boss was better though. And Metal Gear Solid Three at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because that one was cinematically, that fight was, yes. it looks so pretty and because the, you had the flowers in the background and the boss would just snipe you. And then run, yo. And the music. Metal yeah. Gear had a lot of dope Yeah, moves. yeah, man. You can go on about Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah, All right, so if if we throwing that out, I guess I'm gonna have a um a quick shout out. I know it's just gonna be random, but it's because y'all, you and CJ reminded me of this so much. Sonic Adventure one and two. What moment? Yeah, what moment? All right, <laughs> no, no, here it is, here it is, here it is. And number two was really when we played um, y'all played the first level. With the swing snow, he was uh, snowboarding down the city, city highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that song would play, and I remember Rolling like early in the morning. <laughs> early in the morning, I, I would hear that song playing, and it's one of them two playing at that level, just killing it. And then um, I had that one, and also Sonic, I'm not even going to deny it to you, the original Sonic Adventure was, um, what was it? When he went inside the casino. The nice pinball. Right. Yeah. Nice pinball. Nice pinball was just. I did. The That's first time. It's a whole new level to it. It's fun. It was pretty dope. It's fun. The music and all the other stuff in it was kind of cool. I I, hate, I hated that first when I was a kid. I was like, man, I just want to run. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just playing stupid run games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pinball player! I'm kidding, buddy. Right. I just want to go fast. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't fast. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Shout out to Final Fantasy. And I, I throw Final Fantasy out because then I was about to go there, but go ahead first. All right, Final Fantasy ten, and, and CJ. 10 is CJ will always say this, but he's the, he's wrong because he's wrong about this. All right, when I when I finally get to, I think to the Zenarkin ruins, and then Titus holds this conversation with Yuna about how she's supposed to actually sacrifice herself. Now that she knows she's gonna be sacrificing herself when she summons the final Aeon to kill Sin. Yeah. So you know Titus. And that's when he was, oh, Titus Titus, whatever you want to call him, was actually catching the bond. Like, him and Yuna already had that bond. Like, they yeah, was feeling yeah, each yeah. other and everything. And then, like, the song that was playing as they was, like, racing, running down through the ruins to the temple, 
And it was crazy because normally, you know, when you do a fighting scene, it plays the original battle music. But yeah. as you're going through the area, it's random encounters, but it's playing the same song. And it's just basically to push themselves onwards, knowing that at the end, they don't have to sacrifice somebody that they actually love now. Mm-hmm. And that, that part just kind of hit me. See, just like, bro, he was tearing down. <laughs> I'm like, I never did. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. All right, you go ahead. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just have to throw that out. No, it's all good. Um... I'm going to say Final Fantasy VII, Crisis Core. I knew it. Crisis I knew Core. it. But Yo, he's right, though. Dude, yeah. the ending, the, the total ending of that, when he's just fighting the endless, endless soldiers trying to keep Cloud dude. alive. That, and you're waiting for the freaking dream sequence thing to but freaking yo, help you. Every, and just, every single time you're waiting ah, for, I need help, I need help, I need help. I can't beat these yeah, guys, I can't beat these yeah. guys. And the soldiers keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And you're coming. just mashing X and you're like, come on, <laughs> come bro. on. I need a little help. I need something. I'm running out of potions. I yeah. can't do this. But the most important part about that sequence, which was crazy, was with the, uh, the slot reels, was when... He's actually losing the memories of everybody. Yeah. He's thinking about yeah. them and then yeah. losing and forgetting everything. Bro. So it's like, yeah. and when you get close to your death, it's like you forget everything. It looks yeah. like the that. crazy thing about that to me, and I always say this, is that the fact that you knew he was going you to die. It. You knew it. And you're you like, just... you're playing through the game. You're like, whatever. You're playing, yeah. you're playing through the game. It's a good game. It's whatever. You know he's going to die. And then you, you get, to, you finally get to that point where it all comes down and you're like, you think you think and what's crazy, you're trying to change it? <laughs> you know, like, what's no. crazy is the last three soldiers. Yeah. You couldn't kill them. You couldn't you kill couldn't them. So kill you them. couldn't kill them soldiers. Like I'm doing. I was spamming potions. I'm doing and... so much damage to these dudes. Like doing like my best like uh, materia with like Thungara and all that. Couldn't kill them. Trying so hard. Yeah. And at the and at the end when you you just. See the soldier comes up to you and just bam. They did Square did a, such a good job. Yo, on that. this core was because when he died dude. in FF Seven, he was like, like who was this dude? Yeah, but, he was a nobody, just whatever. And then they how they brought the life to him in that game. Yo, and honestly, they, like, made you care about him and yeah, then like that. The end when that like, is a prequel done well. Did I yeah. become a hero? Uh, yes, you whole, did, Zach. Whole yes, you team, did. The whole Cloud, yes, you did. Team. Cloud just steals his shit and leaves. Yeah, I turned the console off and just walked away. I don't remember that shit. Uh, the yeah. whole <laughs> thing was just about him really being remembered and being a hero. And then him following his hero, Angel. And, he be, he and nobody hero. knew who he was, dude. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. It's an error. Then she's gone. Bro, that that's a dope. sad. That's a depressing game. It was a great fucking game. Seven is yeah. depressing. Is, is it like a series? It's depressing. It's just sad. It is pretty yeah. sad. Bro. I think that's what yeah. makes it so great. That yeah. and the characters are the best. The characters is just like they're all fighting. They all, it's just like they all at the sad end of stories, man. Yeah, yeah. but it's just at the it's like you see as it's like at the end, no matter how much negativity is going on in life, if you still like it's these people that just try to have that little bit of positivity left that they're still fighting against mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. To yeah. prove there's actually Something good out there if you keep fighting for it. Word. Amen. But so many. It's just, Preach, brother. And, no, it's just, Go ahead. and there's so many you know, roadblocks that keep hitting them, but they're still fighting towards that end goal. Word. It is yeah. the wildest thing ever. Yeah, That's what makes Seven right. so great. Yo, Seven is fire, bro. Yeah. Even though Nine is my favorite still. Nine is dope. Yeah. I can't lie. I say he's not, but Seven is, to me, is probably the best yeah, when it comes to characters there. and story. Yeah. yeah. Are you thinking about this? All right, so now we have a favorite game, like some memorable gaming moments. What about memorable game moments we had playing co-op games and like yeah, fighting games? Yeah, remember, yeah. I remember how he's mentioned the Mario Kart one, mm-hmm. bro. I got another one. Um, it was um, damn, what game was it? Smash? It was Smash, right? And um, it was uh, so many memories in Smash. So many. Bro. Yo, let me t- no. This one is just it's, it's sad because like was this the tournament? it's the tournament. God, where yo. It was. No, well, he- we don't brought this up. How many? Well, times? Did we talk about the tournament? No, it was the one with Hector and Brandon when yeah, they fought yeah, each no. other. Yeah, I'm saying. I didn't. I didn't fight against them. You didn't fight. No, no. but you saw the fight though. Yeah, I did. Hector and Brandon, like they're so bad at the game. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, it was just so hilarious because they both got to the end. And I was just looking at this like, what? Like, oh, what? so you didn't even play? No, no, it was, no. Like, it was an amateur yeah. version and not like the oh. more hardcore one. Yeah, yeah. I'm terrible at that game. Like items. This all. Yeah, it's all that. And it was just so bad watching them play because it was just they looked so clueless, mm-hmm. and they was fighting each other to the end. I think Snow won with Pikachu, I think, or something like right. that. It was them versus each other, but I think see, I think um, Arc won won the that thing. Exactly, but really, Time Splitters two, like really, some of the shooters though. We had Time Splitters two because I remember what we would do is back when um 
What is it, Tom Brady 2 tournament? No, 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 no. I'm talking about when we was playing Tom Brady 2. Oh, the co op. Remember when, no, not besides co op, just in general. Because remember how we used to do it? Because remember when I used to ride back home off the bus with you sometimes? Yeah. We'll come straight home to his house. And load up the GameCube bro. and start playing <laughs> Time Splitters 2, bro. Like, GameCube straight up hitting multiplayer. Yo, I wish we could Ark came out, came, cause one of, yo, I had a lot of great gaming moments with Ark. Yeah. yeah Online wise, yeah, yeah, that's when they yeah, had it. Yeah. To me, I was more like in But person. another thing was like, yo, PSO, when we finally got to the hard mode of Dark Files, Falls, or whatever his name is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and we form. didn't know he had another form, bro. Yeah. And we're fighting him and we beat it. And we finally get to this I other form. That. We're getting one shot it. And then CJ's character was like, always over level. Uh, he was over level, but he was level higher than mine. So my guy kept getting one shot it. And he'd bring me back to life. <laughs> one so shot. Like, <laughs> get one shot it again. Bring me back to life. And then one time he died, I was like, no, no, I brought him back to life. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, in the end, CJ was carrying. Yo, he beat. He, it took us like an hour to fight the last one. Not even the whole level, like just the last one. It took us like an hour. Damn. And like we, we beat it. It or felt like an hour. It was a lot. Right that hour. game was just too much work for me. I was too lazy. It was. Man. I was just too lazy because like I, I was playing with them, and then they just got too far ahead of me. It was like hundred plus almost, yeah, and I, I was I, like I forty. I only bought the game because you guys had it. Man, I'm like, bought this game it from Zach. Yeah, he bought it, and then I went and bought it, and then I started playing, and I out-leveled both of them at, towards the end. My other game moment was, uh, well, um, I got that game. It was with the little girl. Uh, Ray, I think it's Rage. It was a little girl. There's she, a lot of games with little girls, though. Well, she, um, her dad put her in the, in the basement and was trying to do, like, all kinds of stuff with her. Oh. I think it was uh, Fear. Fear. How many times you play that game? The horror game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah Every yeah. time you play that game, you play it. How many times? The enemy is never in the same spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you see the girl, she be right there, and then you turn around, she's gone. And then you play it again, she's behind you. Oh my god! And that's one of the games that really got me because Dead heard. Space did the same thing. Yeah. Because you play a game, but oh, you know, it's coming. You know, it's coming. Like, jump it's not predictable. It's not, yeah. yeah. See, that's what makes it scary. Yo, scary yeah. That, I, or yeah, helps make yeah, it scary. Yeah. Because one time. Lie. I was with my friend, and I, and like, I played up, looked behind me all the time, and I was like, hey, watch this. This girl's going to be out here. Finally, she does. She pops up behind you. Like, I was like, oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the best. Scream. Yo, <laughs> that was one of the best gaming modes of my life, yo. yo that's what makes you think of Resident Evil, like Nemesis. Three, when Nemesis was yeah. come out of nowhere, bro. bro. Star. <laughs> yeah, that's, what the fuck? I was so scared, because every save point, and t- and, no, every type right I went to, I saved. And like stop playing. I was like, <laughs> should I play? I'm scared he might come out this door and start chasing me. Yo. Cause that that's a big defining moment too. Cause remember how one and two was, mm-hmm. and then three you got this guy, you got this big chasing huge monster. You almost through the whole game. It's when he first chases you. Didn't realize, you know, he's like what? Cause he's like zombie slow. You open door, you're safe. But you go out. All right, next room. You're halfway out the room, or just you know exploring something. You just hear stars and <laughs> then, then you just start running. I'm like, oh! And he chased you for the yeah. next door. Out, and I was like, oh my, yo. That's the thing. Like, he you actually can't kill him. chased you. You can't kill him. And he popped up out of nowhere. You just Sometimes can't. you won't even hear him say stars. You just see him running and you hear the footsteps. I'm like, oh my, what is that? <laughs> and he is bad. Yeah, he always just said, doom, 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 like, doom, doom. You just hear the like, footsteps. Yo, he was like the most. And maybe it was because of the graphics, but he looked so <laughs> graceful as he chased you. But it was like the scariest looking thing ever. But he looked like he was just sliding and like skating towards you. Yeah, just oh. floating like. Yeah, yeah bro. Jason Rod Rod just that game. Oh my yeah. god, that's another yo. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. That was the game was trash, and the DLC was better than the actual like main story the online was actually pretty fun it just didn't work yeah oh my uh, god i remember horrible. that i remember yeah. it was, it was so it. bad it was fun but it just didn't work it was hard like brink brink was a dope game but anyways <laughs> that's yo another that's time another, another time, time. Yeah. But, <laughs> but um this is part where like you're, 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 it's, it's during resident evil 3 so nemesis pops up out of nowhere Yo, and he grabs Ark's character. Oh, is that on YouTube? He happened on YouTube, yo. Link it, link it, link it. I'll link it when I, on in the shit. But it's uh, actually Carlos. Me, Carlos, and Ark was playing. Carlos was recording. And we were just playing to play or whatever. 
But he grabs Arks, bro, and then he just picks him up, slams him on the ground, and stomps on him, bro. Yo, he said, see, they're making it. Oh, yeah, see, they're making it. Sound effects. Oh, my God, yo. That was definitely one of our, like, most fun, like, gaming experiences. Dude. Oh, my God. I'll give, I'll give a more personal one. This one didn't really get seen by a lot of people, but mm-hmm. this was an old game, PS1, Digimon Rumble Arena. I don't it's, that's a fighting game. Yeah, it's a fighting game. Yeah, yeah. I never played it. Dude, that game was so much know. fucking fun. It was very it was a very simple dry bones game, but damn it if it wasn't the most fun you could have with like those characters cuz you just set them up and then fight them against each other like Agumon and like Geomon, you could have them fight against mm-hmm. each other. But there's this boss at the end of the story, every single time you have to fight him. He's the most broken fucking character you've ever had to deal with called Reapermon. Dude, when I finally beat him, the front he's, he's like the Shere Khan of um of that game, mm-hmm. that that freaking broken. When I finally beat him, I had to use. He has a special that drags you from whatever corner of the game you were in so towards cool. him to like kill you. Yeah, and I'm just like I'm just running, 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 trying to stay away from it. Mm-hmm. Like all right, I'm like fuck it. I turn around, use my special on him. We both collide at the same time. Both of us are down. And then I get up. And then I beat him. I was like, oh, yo! So you had like a sliver of health left. A little sliver of health. He yeah. had a little sliver of health. I had a little sliver of health. I turn around, do my special. He's doing his special. Boosh. It's like an actual... And like, then I get up. I'm like, yeah! That's it's like it those was anime deep. fight scenes yeah. where it happens. You get like a chair over so you get like... Yeah, I was like... Yeah! <laughs> 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 I was like... I was like... I was like... Yo, that was probably one of the most fun things and mm. most like... Intense. A, another moment of mine is like... Yo, Kingdom Hearts 2 oh, is boy, when... Bro. um, Like right... During the... Go back to the Hollow Bastion like this... Or I think it's... No, it's still Hollow Bastion at the time, I think. That turns to Radiant Garden, but there's a part where you start all these heartless are attacking the city or whatever, and then you go from fighting with all the you know Final Fantasy characters, Squall, Tifa. That's yeah. number one. Yeah. yeah. No, there's two. No, there's oh, two. That's the second one. There's oh, two. I'm thinking about the first one when Squall hit the heartless out the window. Yeah, jumped out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about that. No, My that's bad. The wrong one. one. Wrong one. But the second one is like, yeah, you're fighting with Squall, Tifa. They're all popping out of nowhere, helping you fight all these heartless. Oh, I remember that yeah, I remember yeah. That. And then after you do all that. You had to fight a thousand heartless by yourself, bro. That part just felt so intense. It kind of felt intense for me, like in that game, because like it was like part of the, the squad. They just come out of nowhere, bro. And Cloud doing this shit, Squall doing this shit. Then you lead, go to the next area. Tifa come out of nowhere. Yuffie come out of nowhere. Then bam, you gotta fight all these heartless by yourself, yo. And, and you just mashing triangle and X the whole time, bro. Just fighting and fighting. I remember that. But I don't think Goofy and Mickey was with you too, so you're literally like soloing all these heartless by yo. yourself. Yeah. Bro, and it Dang, just felt dope. Play through that it was just like straight action for a good like hour of the game, like just straight action. <laughs> yeah, one save point, like right before the thousand. I think it was a boss fight. There was the dude with the guitar. Yeah, that dude was. He was hard. a yeah. I remember. That's why I remember yeah, that fight. I can't think of his yeah, name. With the, the mohawk, with the blonde hair. Yeah, 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 I hate that dude, bro. I don't remember his name either. But yo, he was. Yo. <laughs> it took me 10 times Cause it was like a little gimmick You had to kill all these things Before the time limit though. It was actually easy to fight But the little gimmick You had to like get through the water. fight I think it was water things right? Yeah you it's had like... to kill like a, The water things In a certain amount of time Like yeah 10 seconds He was 10, 10 of them They were easy to kill But they were uh, You had to do it quick Yeah Bro but yeah. And then after that and, Oh yeah and then Goofy gets his Y'all think Goofy's dead or whatever Cause he gets hit in the head With a rock oh. And saves Mickey So it goes from there To like Sora and Donald being like enraged with Mickey, and then you fighting a thousand. Mm-hmm. Yo, that part was beast. I told you, Kim Hearts two is better than one. Yeah. I don't agree with that, but <laughs> yeah. I think I'm sorry. Ten, I don't agree with that. But Kim Hearts two is fire. It's fire. Yeah. So if you want to talk about reliving moments, I'm gonna give you one. Since this is a game that's always been known as genre, uh, well, wait, like inspiring game, I guess you can call it. I'm gonna bring back some Halo. Oh, Halo. Okay, Halo moment. Alright, because yeah. especially Halo 1 and 2 specifically. <laughs> with this one right here, because this one was oh hilarious. Lord. Like, we'll play through majority of the story. We have never beat Halo together. So no, we did. Why. We did. We beat two. Did we did? We wound up beating the last bomb. Um, Tell them why we never beat the first one here. Alright, well, basically, majority of the time we ain't beat most of the times we played through it, because we'll run through majority of the story. And then randomly, I'll just be like. I just killed this dude. Bow, 
just start killing them. Bro. And then we'll just spend an hour just start killing each other, throwing grenades, fighting each other, <laughs> respawning, fighting each other. And I just like, I'm not going to lie. That was the best part of playing Halo. I'm like, look. And you know how long it took us to be two? Because we kept killing each other, we had to like, like, okay, yo, all right, I, I don't remember what happened. I just, we were just like, yo, we gotta beat this game. Yeah. Like, okay, then we finally beat it. But it took us probably like two, three weeks just to beat two. Because we, that's every crazy. hour of playtime, we spent two hours killing each other. Wait, yeah. I remember Halo, Halo Three. Mm-hmm. If you beat the game Legendary by yeah. yourself, no HUD to get the katana. Oh yeah, you get all the achievements, yo. I think the worst level was the flood. That's Bro. like the worst of any yeah, Halo game. Yeah, it usually is. It's yo, so usually hard. Is. Limited saves. I remember la- like last time I was going to give up. I was like, yo, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I was like, yo, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to beat this. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I finally beat it. But I was like, yo, what the f-? Yo, I put the controller down. <laughs> no, like, I'm just I'm like, dying, right? I'm good. No I more legendary. Need, I need a little bit. Legendary, legendary is horrible. It's just boy. if you're trying to torture yourself. Yo. Yeah. Just even I, the first level alone was hard. It's just I, like, because, like, how you. The, the main thing is, like, when you're playing Halo normal and even, like, the hard mode, it's like, you kind of just run through everything. Yeah. And you play Legendary, you you got to relearn everything you just learned playing through normal hard mode because it's a so different much game. Cover. It's, cover. Get, it's, get him once. it's like a, it turns into a cover shooter with no cover. Like, what? Everyone's shooting at you. Like, yeah. Master Chief. Grenades being thrown, fire from different directions. They take forever to Covered kill. Covered shields don't like, go Like, Orbiter's right here. Why are you not shooting at the Orbiter? I'm like, yeah. Oh, my God. You really, you really start speaking strategies. Like, all right, I'm going to yeah, aggro I'm going to take this guy out. flank because there's a lot of aggro flanking. Him. Army of two. Yo, Grenade I was, take them all out. I was achieving wars. I was just trying to, you know, because it was like 200 points. Mm-hmm. They beat him on Legendary. I was like, oh, yeah. But oh, my I, Lord. I wasted a whole day just, you know, I was like, on flood. Just that, on that one <laughs> level. Bet. A whole uh, day. Every, every level those I levels did. are hard on normal. <laughs> Yo, usually, yeah, yeah. Yo, I and I, see, I was scared of the first one because remember when he started running, just chasing you? Yeah. I was like, oh, snap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it was crazy. Like, they pick up old dead bodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you'll kill someone in there. get out. <laughs> run so running after you like we want you, baby. And the big things that they pop. I was like, damn. I didn't even yeah. know they did that like, for like the long. I think on my second playthrough, I seen one of the little ones jump into one of my dead human buddies. And like they then got up. I was like, what the fuck? That shit's yeah. creepy. And some of the levels of flood, they don't show you where to go. So you yeah. just go around in a circle. Exactly. You would get lost and shit. Bro. Dude, like Halo 4 had that. that kind of, like, that flood usually has the same feeling as Horde mode in Gears of War. Oh. And one of my favorite, that some of my favorite moments have come from Gears of War 3, playing online with my boys. Because, mm-hmm. oh, the, all right, the perfect moment I remember is, um, we we're all playing horde mode, and then our base had gotten destroyed. It was four of us, me and my dude. We were playing on the same TV, and then my boys, they're in their house. They're playing on the TV. We had the mic set up and everything. Mm-hmm. Our base got destroyed, so we couldn't stay there. We just had to split up and go our separate ways just to stay alive. <laughs> and then now you got the berserkers and the lambits yeah. out there chasing you like crazy. So we're there shooting up, shooting up, shooting up. And then everybody dies except me. It's me by myself. We have no more revives. We well, have to hero. get. I I went fucking hero mode. It was me against a berserker. I had no flamethrower on me. All I had was my shotgun, and a um I think it was a hammer burst. And then I'm like, this thing is charging at me, going crazy. I'm like, do 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 roll, do 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 yeah. roll, do 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 do. Bro, that, that oh my god, I I carried, I made that fucking team. He did what that couldn't I do. I fucking <laughs> carried on that fucking team. Right I got to the next round, which we amply died. Right. Yo, another <laughs> moment though was fucking DMC three, Dante versus Dur- Vir- Virgil. Virgil, bro, <laughs> that fight was fucking beast. At the bro. end. Yes, yeah. at the end, that fight was fucking fire, bro. Cause it's like. In, mo- uh, in games like that, action games and especially games like swords and shit, it's like always fun to fight like somebody else who kind of has like the same kind of skills. Yeah, so like yep. instead of Dante versus Virgil, the pretty it's a much challenge. yeah, pretty much the same like not different fighting style, but they're the same. You know what I'm saying? They're both devil, have human, have devils. 
they have the same kind of power. So it's like, who's actually the better swordsman or whatever? And it's just, yo. And then the the scene and shit, when that shit happens, bro, it just fucking sick. Feels good. And it's crazy because Virgil was whooping Dante's butt he the was whole beating game. His yeah. ass. So bad, bro. Like he just like when he first met him, just one shot, and that was it for Dante. But you know he can't die really, so it's just yeah. like it didn't matter. But at the end, and then you seen um. That's how he becomes, um, what's the, what's the character where he became, um, uh, not Nero, what, what's the dude's name for the first one? He becomes that knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I guy. can't think, I can't think of his right name, now. but he becomes that person. Yeah. That's who he is. Yeah, I didn't know that for the longest time. Yeah, I found that out. Once mm-hmm. I actually played through one again, you actually can tell by yeah. the amulet that Virgil used to have. I was like, oh, shoot. But yeah. I got that's one more game that was Outlast. I never played it though. Y'all so scared of playing on lot. Yeah, me too. I was yeah, sure. I, I, I mean, can't. it's a good game, but it's just it's one of those games you can't fight back. That's what I'm saying. I can't play. I need to shoot you it's, back. Yo, you can't chase me and I don't have a weapon. Like, you get in the dark. You got to get your camera. You got to pick up batteries. Yeah. It's one level. I'm way too shook to play that it's game. It's one level. Spoiler alert. This is dude, <laughs> a doctor with scissors. You're sitting in a chair. You know, you sit. You cut, you cut mm-hmm. your fingers off. Oh no! And it's, and it's like a level that you think you're not gonna be able to do nothing, you know. It's just, mm-hmm. yeah, but you get out of the lap, you get out of the chair, and you gotta hide, and like, and uh, in lockers because you're in the hospital. Oh no! And this part is crazy. He checks every locker. Oh. So if no. he knows you in that locker, you heard, you know, and and there's like dead people and they're screaming like ah, and he comes running at you and he's a sister stabs you. Oh man. And. and and I'm he, a punk when it comes to those games, bro. I yo, cannot play them. Yeah. Turn the lights off. Is this, uh, 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 well, that's what, like... I we, love watching them, though. When did, I watch, yeah, that's way better watching them. We did Slender Man. Like, I didn't play Slender Man, but oh, I was sitting in a room yeah. with, like, a bunch of people, and then, like, Slender one man, person was playing... No, dude. Yeah, that man, shook me. That it's, thing was get get you shook. You're on the corner, you're right there, like, oh! You gotta have headphones on. You gotta hear the man, music. Man, the people. You know what game kind of scared me? Was that Amnesia? Darkness. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. When like, you have to go, like, it's kind of like house. the Outlast, I guess. Because yes. you, you're going through a house, your character just wakes up, and there's like these monsters that are in there, and you yeah. can't fight them or anything. So they just come at you and they get you, bro. And they just look scary. And there's like an invisible monster that yeah. can come and get you too, bro. Yeah. There's another spoiler alert with um Outlast too. It's like it's like the Berserkers. Mm-hmm. It's like this big dude. He always finds you somehow. You you can't move. You can't fight back. You just fucking. But you're up and yo, oh. and it's like this one level you're in a in a security room. He's like banging on the door. You just see him. He's like you gotta die. You know you feel like you're gonna die. Mm-hmm. And then it, it doesn't tell you what to do. And then you go in the locker and you're hiding in the locker and he, he knocks on the door. You just wait. And he's at the door. He's at the out the locker. <laughs> Come on, Jesus, <laughs> and he walks away. And you stay there for like five seconds. You look outside. You see him in the cameras just running around, mm-hmm. and then you go. You gotta get through his pass, and there's another dude, like a big other dude. He just thanks you, like, Dang. and he screams. And he's like, ah! But he's like, you know, you gotta get, you gotta get away. And it's like one of those moments you know, that horror games. Yeah, right? horror bro. games definitely have some. Death those are one shit of the moments. I like Silent horror Hill Two was crazy in the hell. Oh yeah, Silent, you know, Silent Hill, Hill. Hill. I never played the game. Oh though, man, need that's to another that. game where Silent I can't Hill play, two. but I will watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 I'll be there with you. I'll, I'll hold your hand, but you know, I'm nah, not going to beat you. Like that game it. itself, it's it's just the fact. Well, games that are great are the ones that have hidden meanings behind. Like this game touched on like yeah. crazy things like depression, suicide, and you know, oh, yeah, rape. Because yeah, yeah. each of the levels had a. Uh, um, like it was, it was all had a meaning between um his relationship with his um his ex wife throughout the whole game. Yeah. So like I don't want to exp- like, it's like everything had a sim- it symbolized a certain meaning to everything. And it was, it was such a, like I don't want to go too deep in detail because you know I ain't trying to spoil the game, but <laughs> game we spoiled is, a lot of games today. I know, but I just don't like to spoil, <laughs> man. But that game was just great. Don't watch if you care about spoilers. But after you after Silent what, Hill, man. quit playing after three. Four is okay, but after three is when Silent Hill died off. Yeah. So give I me mean, a heads up. Stop after three. That's bro. Those games were just creepy as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I like the that they could put the the vibrations in the controllers. Yeah, you could feel you know, that you shit. Could, like before you even the flashlight. Something. They had these radio to hear the monsters. Yeah. 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 So it's some monsters you can't have the light on. So you just hear. And they just move freaky like the nurses and stuff. Right, they just be shaking. The nurses were the worst, man. It's Dude, they just so weird. They, how they walk? Oh my god! That's the hope. It was just disturbing images. Yo, I got just... another moment though. Fucking 
I don't know if I brought this up before, but Last of Us, towards the end, when you're Joel and they got Ellie, you finally have the fireflies. Yeah. And they're going to fucking kill Ellie for the disease. And then Joel just fights everybody. Yo, he, goes, Yo, that was, he went beast on that. I remember that. Right? And then he the has game. carries yeah, her yeah, out. Fire, he was telling me about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He, last, last, last last yeah he likes yeah. scary games. It's scary. Yeah. It's action packed. It's it's a dope game. You'll love it. The stories. It's really like a good. combination of somewhere between Silent Hill and like Uncharted. It yeah. has but like elements of both. Elements of both. Yeah. You got puzzles in it. Sort of. It has like crafting. Like you're gonna have to put together weapons and yeah. stuff. They got some kind of like they got a like a puzzle. Some puzzle. Not yeah, a deep puzzle. Not deep. Like like Assassin's Creed puzzles. Like just a set. Like I'm trying to have puzzles, but it's not like that. There's crazy. this one level where. You have to like figure out how to p- cut these things on, and I think that was probably the most tr- hardest area. And because yeah. there's, I don't think you have your shit with you. I don't, I don't know about that. I think the hard, one of the hardest ones was like getting through the room full of clickers, and like this, that's the first time you're actually trying to figure out how to move around. These oh, he's things. in the band and more. Yeah, I remember. like no, if you set like, one in off. In the beginning, that's the beginning. Yeah, yeah, no, pretty close bro. towards the beginning. That, one that was part was easy. I just stabbed. I think the hardest part was when. Your neck. I think the hardest part we had to uh, turn on those generators. That's the part I was talking that about. That part scared the hell out of me the most. The generators? Could, it was oh those my. fat things were in there. And you can't oh, yeah. Kill. Oh, my God. That yeah, yeah, was yeah, the yeah, scary. Yeah. That Yo, was the hardest part of it. That's scary. And that's kind of like a puzzle because you, 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 it's kind of like a maze and you got to figure yeah. out how to cut these these generators on and while getting past, past these things you can't kill. Yeah, I don't like, think he has a shit. That's like Death Space has the same thing. Yeah. Death Space 3. You got it. It's it's more like Dead Space than probably anything. Yeah. Besides, yeah, I, Dead Space to me, the, especially the first two, is definitely scarier in my opinion. But how those games play out, Last of Us probably is more like Dead Space. I think that game was too stiff, like Dead Space, because you like you can't yeah. really move. You stop because yeah, you was in a heavy ass suit too. Yeah. yeah. But it was a good game. Oh, Dead yeah, Space is great, but Last of Us is like must play. Yeah, I think I just that top like a top game. Had a lot of puzzles in it too. Yeah. You have to get past every. This place was a really good game. And they had like major they, resources. Yeah, that too. That's like every game now. Yeah. Every, well, Last of Us. Oh, it's like any horror game. Yeah, yeah. Majority <laughs> time. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, look, that moment where you're like trying to save Ellie, and you're like half of you's like yo like. This is kind of wrong. She has to. She can fix everything. I'm spoiling the shit out of this. Oh shit. yeah, you gonna play it, right? Yeah, bro, go oh, shit. You can spoil the shit bro. out of shit. <laughs> but anyways, Pause. yo, it's like she can fix everything, but you're gonna stop them what they're doing, and you gotta think about it too. It's like yo, what these some of these, especially the leader, like what these fireflies did to get to this point to find this cure, and you're about to you just stop every one of their tragic stories or whatever they had to go through. You just wiped all that shit out because of your his selfish decision. And then just the fight, bro. You just going in there, killing everybody. Da, 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 da. Bro. The part when he grabs her and starts racing down. Like, racing yeah. memories running with her in her arms trying to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shooting at him. I thought he was going to die. Like, yeah, yeah, yo. All that part was crazy. I'm like, yo, I'm thinking Joe's about to. What's he doing? He bro, gonna I was die. booking. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, so that nice. game is, like, game from beginning to end, is a great game. game. I was playing through the remastered one for a minute, but I, I, I took a break. Yeah. Actually, no, I got it. I still got it. I'm gonna play through it again. Yeah, man. Bro, that. it's a great game, bro. I might play when I get home. I'm yeah. playing Life is Strange right now. Is it? I keep seeing that game, but I don't look like my type of game. It's, but, it's, you know, it just tells you how you are, and it picks up on depression. And, you know, like it's just one of those games that tells you about like rape and all. You know. It definitely looks yeah. different, and I hear different. good things about it. I just it doesn't look like my type of you game. You see, like how person how. Good of a person you are. Like, yeah. I'm trying yeah, to that. kill. <laughs> bad stuff yeah. here. I said, I've had it. I got it from PSN Plus for free, but I never played it too much yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no wonder it's free because it's like one of those. Maybe one day I'll try it though. I hear yeah. good things about it. It just doesn't look like my type of game. It's, it's more like it's one of those. It's, it's those indie games. Yeah. yeah, it's literally in that kind of table. But, but I, I like when um they try do different things with these games and whatnot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It kind of reminds me of another crazy gaming moment. Is actually um Earthbound. I the, never. I always wanted to play the Earthbound yeah, too. Game, and I never got. Never got to play them. Game's freaked up, but at the end, Which the last, one? The, the first, first one? one, the first one. At the yeah, end, yeah. Earthbound's a depressing game too. Yo, it it's, is, yo. And like the end of the first one, it was like the last boss is like this weird looking kind of. It's a fetus, supposedly. It's a fetus. Yeah. And 
like your um how how they do it? like when you when it starts talking and making all these crazy noises and sounds to you it's like mm-hmm. and the see the theme song is just so disturbing it just makes you feel Ugh. and then just the whole thing it starts saying to you and it's literally you're killing a baby at the game you're killing a baby I can't remember. That game is weird as fuck. Yeah, 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 we're talking about fetuses. And I think like, it's talking about being raped. I think it was saying, no, stop, I'm being raped or something. So don't hurt me. How the baby, I think it was, the baby was born because it was somebody raped the, the woman. So that's how the baby was born, I think. Uh, oh, Earthbound is yeah. freaking My bad. weird. No, it's good. Uh, talking about fetuses and like babies. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> in fear, Whoa. in Fear 3, there's a, I think, I think it's Fear 3. Call me if I'm wrong. But it's a game that you're going to a hospital and you're going towards a baby like a, a nursery type and all these babies are infected mm-hmm. and they're screaming at you they like little babies is running after you oh, oh I, I see know. that on YouTube I think <laughs> yeah. oh my god that that is a scary moment like cause they creep around the corner too like you know and you, you feel bad you don't want to kill them but you I mean, but it's, I mean it's, me or, it's me or you it's somebody got it bro. yo for real somebody's like a bunch of them too I'm just saying <laughs> yo. I'm like you're already dead so I mean I yeah. that is crazy yeah, both of us don't have to be dead <laughs> just saying might take your life out but they do take a, like a chunk out of your life like if you playing on like a saying mm-hmm. they take like majority of your life like what the hell are you bro another freaking great moment in Majora's Mask is when you're helping that kid. Uh, I forgot his name. Skull kid. The purple hair kid. No, he's like he was an adult, but he turned into a kid because of Skull Kid, and you gotta help him get this mask. But like, oh, the fox mask. Yeah, yeah, the fox okay, mask. Yeah, yeah. And that yo, the moment where you get the mask and the story's like fucking like all the shit he goes through to get this mask, and you help him get it, and then you know they connect, and he finally gets with his um his I think it's his fiance. I think he proposed to her and they connect in your know, moments for the world and you know they're just sitting in a room the world shaking and they're just hugging each other bro and it's just so sad and it's like even your parents like yo there's nothing we can do now just use a song of time and restart and like restart everything or whatever it's like you yo. go you go through all this yeah just to reset it for one and then it's it, no matter what if you fail it too it's still deep because it's like you go in there, you try to get this mask, and then if you fail, he gets stuck in there. So he's just stuck in there until the and it's the last day. So he's stuck in there until the moon falls. And you're like your friends like, yo, you just gotta leave him. Yeah, yo, yo, Zelda Bajor's mask was so messed up and deep. Cause like yo. it was crazy because like the the whole world is shaking and you look yeah. like the moon's getting closer to you. Dude. And they just start hearing the the and then the music changed for the last 12 hours, bro. Oh, the music, oh. Is, as soon as the Thursday dark starts, the music gets dark. And, like, the music is kind of the same, but it's, like, sped up. And it has, like, this dark sound or, like, sound um, in the background that you hear while the music's playing. And it's, oh, my God. Yeah, Majora's Mask. Mask. You're watching them play One that. One of the best games of all time. Because I was going ham on it. There's um, a game called Limbo. I've heard of that too. You can play all these games that I heard about and seen, but I've never like. You do all same. this. Your, your sister gets kidnapped, but like I think it's Big Giant Spider. Mm-hmm. You do all the this. Fuck? You do all these things for your sister. Like you go do this hard ass level. Mm-hmm. At the end, she just you. She dies. Same Damn. Same. Damn. Oh. So you do oh. all. This, you do all this stupid shit, and then obviously you get to your sister and stab. She's dead. You're like, what the? Fuck? Damn, that's crazy. That's some bull. <laughs> Yo. I hate games like that. You just like you doing all that stuff and you end up dying. Yeah, bro. But then it's like, damn. But that's why like, <laughs> it sticks with you because like one for one you don't expect it, and then two is like, like oh my god, you just went through this crazy experience for that. And yeah, like, you got all this hope. Like oh, I got me and my sister. Yeah, like, hey. I was saying you wouldn't like in Majora's Mask. You just went through all this stuff just to reset it. Yeah, like I reset the game. I was like. I was like, now what? Like, and this makes you want to help the people because yeah. you're supposed to help a lot of people with their with their um, issues. Mm-hmm. And that's how you get a lot of the masks. And it'll actually, and this, a lot of the characters have backstories. That's yeah, like Dead that's Rising. Is. And you actually keep yeah. track of it, like in World Wars. Like, all right, at this time she does this, at this time do that. Because you exactly. know the days and hours right there at specific mm-hmm. areas. So the game teaches you awareness of time and all that. Oh, yo, that game. And what, like, people had to go through it during the three days, like, you know, I, yo, that game was crazy. Bro. Game, it was a rapture for real. That game was crazy. I, I will never forget that, because, yeah, I played that. I remember, I remember really the crazy moments when you first, in the beginning of the game, after everything happens, mm-hmm. you're with Link, and you become the Deku, 
And then after you speak to the dude with the mask, you, yeah. you finally walk out the little clock tower. And I remember the first thing I did, I looked up, and you just see the moon just staring at you. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's, that mask looked scary. I was, yeah, nah, that thing always looked it was scary. Just, it had this evil, vicious look to it, man. I was like. Dude, another crazy moment in gaming was, like, in Wild Arms. I think I brought this up before, too. And, like, when finally all three characters meet at the... The, it the wasn't the main the town. Main, it's, uh, it's, it's out of high. Out of That's the name of the city. Yeah, because that's remember. where they met. They met at that city. Yeah, they meet there, and then this demon comes out, and he's talking all his trash <laughs> and whatnot. And then yo, whatever he, I forget what he does or what someone does, and the sky starts falling, bro. Mm. And the sky starts falling, and your characters like walking around, trying to help these people and fight off these demons that are killing these people. And like this kid, you're looking for for somebody. Dies right in front of you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Yo, it was crazy. And then, like, at that point in the game, it was like, yo, you find y'all, your team's purpose. And, like, we got to get rid of this evil. Because this guy, this stuff is happening. And this demon guy is just sitting there laughing at it. They're like, ask these kids and women are, and men are dying. You're like, all right, we're going to find him. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually crazy that you mentioned that. Because remember how the game switches. Because remember, yeah. once, um... You get to the part where she speaks to her, because uh, Cecilia's father's the king. Yeah. You speak to him, because he's lying, like, in his deathbed. He's sick and ill. Mm-hmm. And then she cuts off her hair. Yeah. To, like, symbolize the meaning of her making this change. She's going on this journey to help. Mm-hmm. And the crazy part is, like, they have a rolling credits. Like, there's a credits. I mean, first, I'm like, that in the game? Yeah. It was credits, and they're bringing the king down, burying him. But really, it yeah. was just, like, this part of the game ended. That's really the prologue. Now, you're about to enter the main game. Here. Yeah. It's the it's beginning. Like, there's a whole story That's you crazy. guys trying to... Call overcome this evil and this evil is crazy because the other things happen in these other towns like bad stuff Mm -hmm. i don't even remember all that but i just i yo i remember how i used to go so ham on that game because i think you go through like one town and it's just empty yep it was one that's empty bro and that's where you speak to one of them because it was like a spirit there was like one of the uh the little little people the things you could summon yeah it was one of those things in there it was locked in I mean, it was like a statue or something like that. Yeah, and those things were kind of sad stories, too. Yo, like that certain, game was sad, man. Yo, that game was fire, though. I gotta say, Life is Strange is sad. Because when you, that game, the more you talk about, you know, when you yeah. talk, yeah. You can, you can, no, you're good. Go ahead, finish. You no, you, um, listen. when you, you talk to people, you can add, you know, you add the story of the life. You're so dumb, bro. <laughs> you can what, though? Well, you get a story of life when you talk to someone and you, uh, you know, change it how you want it. Yeah. So you, you have, like, a, a chance. Okay. To, like, save somebody's life. Oh, you know, like, so you can. Oh, that's dope. It's, it's pretty dope. I'm going to have to try that game. Yeah. It's too many games I got to try. It's too All right, many. yo, those are a lot of moments. Yeah. And we could probably still go on, but we're going to yeah. end this here, yo. <laughs> you guys take it easy. Leave y'all moments in the comments. Like, subscribe, follow. Hit us up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Follow the team. We'll be coming at y'all. Be easy. Team Ruthless Hoodies coming soon. Get ready.